Exactly so what is, the, what is the main risk, in your opinion, of running an SPD, a Type 2 SPD, in a, in a domestic board without an MCB? You've got the risk of the device overheating and failing. I mean, we, if you go back, we were having this discussion before, surge protection, we've been around for 20 years. Mm. Surge protection has been the wiring rig since the 1980s. It's not new technology. It's, it's not, not new devices. But you've got to think, for the first time now, we're seeing them directly put on buzz bars. It's never been done before. Yeah. If that was something we could have done, it would have been done, and it would be part of the product standard. It's not. Um, the risk is we're going to get fires within electrical installations. We've got companies that are now selling surge protection that don't know anything about it. It's gone in the last five or six years from three main suppliers in the UK selling surge protection to, you know, everybody has got a branded version. Yeah. Nobody. And, and again, sorry to be a dick. But a lot of them come out of the same place. Oh, they do. <laughs> they will do. Exactly. Um, most of them, especially anybody you speak to, I mean, you know, any of you guys that have been out on trade shows, you go up to any of your companies that are selling a surge protection device with their board or whatever, you were speaking to a sales guy, they know nothing about that surge no, device. Um, they're selling you a box. And most of their technical lines, if you call them up asking them for questions, they will be selling you a box. They don't understand the devices. Yeah. So we've got this perfect storm of companies selling devices they know nothing about to an industry where everyone's still a little bit unsure about surge protection. And now you've got some marketers coming in saying, oh, this is a really good idea and it gives you a spare way. But it contradicts all the safety and wiring regulations that we've put in behind it. So anybody that understands surge protection, understands the technology behind it, would not be supportive of doing it this way. Because if we could have done it, we would have done it. 100% agree. And like... What's the risk to the electrician, though, then, if they were to fit one and something goes wrong? 